All right, guys, what's going on? We hustle daily, man. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys how to do an oil change on your 2003 to 2007 Honda Accord. But I'm going to also show you how you can get your oil to last longer and, you know, be more lubricant. Now, with things you're going to need, you're going to need four, um, four things of oil. Um, I use 10W40, even though, you know, the cap says... 5w20 you know i know a lot of people in the comments probably about to get on me about that but me personally i just like to use thicker oil i always use 10w40 in all my cars so you know y'all can just skip this part and use 5w20 if you want but i'm gonna keep using this um you'll need your oil filter safram uh fold i mean 7 7317 um i'm using the extra guard you need a half inch socket with a 17 millimeter Ratchet, you're gonna need a ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket, I'm sorry. Oil filter, um, wrench to take the oil filter off. Um, this oil pan and let's hit a funnel. Got a funnel up there. But last but not least, man, I'm gonna put the link in the description below. You gotta get you some Lucas engine oil stop leak. Now, you gotta use the engine oil stop leak because me personally, I done seen this work on a car before I had a 19 my very first car I had 1997 Chevy Malibu they used to leak um I put this in there man and it actually stopped leaking now now if you got a big leak you know what I'm saying it probably ain't gonna work now this car doesn't have any leaks but I, ever since I seen it work I'm always gonna put this in each of my oil changes man so I'm gonna put the link in the description below and you got to get the engine oil stop leak kind you can't just get the regular you know lucas engine oil you know lubricant you got to get the engine oil stop leak so let's go ahead and get started um let's go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and use the uh oil filter wrench you're gonna get up under here and i got two jack stands also with the jack so I'll let you know you know I'm playing it safe so that right there is your oil um oil socket right there how you let the oil out and if you look back a little further there is the oil filter now let me see if i can go ahead and get this on for you guys uh okay we got it we're gonna keep twisting it as you can see keep twisting it keep twisting it now it should be good for our hand now we're gonna put the Gotta make sure our cover is good. I'm gonna put the uh, and you're gonna want to twist it, twist it. I like to do the oil filter first, me personally. Oh, we missed it a little bit. We missed it. We missed it. Okay, keep twisting it counterclockwise, counterclockwise. And okay, so. There we go. And as you see, I've used the Fram Extra Guard. I'm also going to put this in a link in the description, man. So, And this is a 2.4 liter, by the way. So, this is not the 3.0, but, you know. Let me see where's my ratchet at. Uh, all right, going to grab my ratchet as well. And this is also going to be counterclockwise mine is kind of loose because i loosened it up before i started the video so just in case you guys wondering like you know why is it so easy for this guy you know Ooh man i dropped it in there i dropped it in there where did it go all right guys I had to switch to my tablet so it may show a little different but all you want to do is put the Lucas in here, um, and like I said, I use 10W40 for my cars. So make sure you, when you get done putting the Lucas in, you crank the car up, um, let it run for about you know 30 seconds, turn it off, and go ahead and start checking your oil. But um, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at WeHustleDaily.co. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Um, like I say, we're going to be doing this auction thing, buying and selling cars. I'm going to take you all through the whole process. Thanks for watching my video. Peace.